Hello guys, what's up? Midnight Assassin 2003 here, and uh, today guys, uh, um, we're going to be doing um, how to use your Thrustmaster T150 racing wheel for Need for Speed Payback. So, um, as I did say on the previous video, um, you cannot um, use this particular wheel with this unless you do a certain trick that I will be showing you today so that your um, force feedback will not break your wheel. So, this game has no force feedback setting, it only works with a fanatic wheel. But, in this video that I will be showing you is, well, I'm going to be using this wheel for Need for Speed Payback. So, if you guys want to use your Thrustmaster T150 or your, um, you know, Thrustmaster T300 or whatever you got, you just do the simple trick and it should work with every wheel that you got. So, we have it on right now. So, there it is. So right now the game's on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to close the application and I'm going to show you, um, well, pretty much what the force feedback will do. And then I'm going to then shift over and then I'm going to uh, um, unplug the wheel and I'm going to put it back on. So, let's start the app. I mean the game, sorry. And all I'm going to have to do is just drive in a straight line and you will watch that the wheel will perfectly just like constantly do this. It will spasm out. So, that is what the force feedback will do. And then what I can show you is how you can avoid that. And then you can play this game without having to fight force feedback and end up breaking your wheel. So let's wait for it to load. Um, I did say that I have made thumbnails, yes. Um, I did not actually contact my buddy Paul. I looked at a YouTube video of how to make um, a thumbnail. And uh, well, I'm doing it now. So the thumbnail for this will not be just a completely random thing like, like that or this or like that or whatever, like, like really weird. Um, it will be a custom picture, and um, I'll tell you the app that you can get. You can get PixArt or Picton, or uh, yeah, Picton or Pixon, Pixart. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I'll show you guys that later on. So here we are. So let's just start it up. Now, technically, this wheel is not even supposed to be, you know, operated on this particular game because you know the like this will work with Fnatic. You can use a wheel in this, but it apparently only works with a Fnatic wheel. Okay, so we got my GTR here I recently bought. Okay, so now what you guys are going to see is this. So, as I turn the wheel, see? So, let's try driving, shall we? Let's go off-road. You'll watch the wheel will then start fighting it, see? So that's your force feedback. That can actually severely damage your wheel if you fight it. Because the, the wheel's kind of like a computer, so pretty much if you go off-road, it's telling you that you got to get back onto the road and, you know, like, stop um, going off-road. But also, it will just do this in general. So, let's put our brakes on here. See? It's spasming out like this and I'm not even touching it. That's the force feedback problem and I shall show you that there is no such setting for the force feedback on this particular game. So, you got this here, that's just your game, in-game stuff. If you're driving, none of this will change your, um, your force feedback settings and any controller. So this will work only with a Fnatic wheel. All the other stuff does not work. So as you just saw here, the wheel was spasming out. See, it does that on its own. Now, here's the trick that I will be showing you today. So, let's go back to the home screen, and then I'm going to log out of the PS4, but the game will still be on. So, all you gotta do, press your PS button on your wheel, and make sure that circle is still there. So then, you go back to the main menu. You just log out of your PS4, that's all you gotta do. So then you just wait for it to do that. Okay, so now what we're gonna do, is now I'm going to unplug the wheel, from the system, like that. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this off, and as we wait for it to turn off and then load back up, 
Um, this trick will work with any wheel that you get. I'm telling you right now, it will. So, don't you worry, this is not clickbait, this is not fake, it's 100% it's real. You guys will see that once uh, we get this all set up, the wheel will not be spasming out and I can completely use it because at first, when I tried it with Need for Speed, I was like, what the hell? I can't seem to use my wheel properly, it wouldn't let me. And that kind of made me upset because I want to use Need for Speed Payback with the wheel. But there is no force feedback setting, so it doesn't let you. So I was like, well, what the hell, mate? So that was a downfall, but then when I discovered this, and I, <laughs> I found this, I guess, just by luck or something like that. Um, yeah, okay, so now when that thing there stops flashing so now it's on i guess rest mode or something so then you take this you plug it back in and then the wheel does that creepy thing where it just turns on so i'm never going to get used to that i always think that like there's a ghost possessing the wheel when it does that but that technically just means like it's loading in so then you press your power button again and it'll do that again we'll probably spin around again and there it goes now the sad thing is guys, if you have a, um, if you got a shifter, it will not work with this, so it kind of sucks. So you can only use your um, power shifters. Okay, now let's log in. Okay, so here's my uh, account if you guys want to follow me. And then uh, there's my buddy Joey, you can uh, go uh, follow him on PS4. He used to have an Xbox, still does, but uh, he likes his PS4, I'm proud of him for getting it. Okay, so now that we're loaded back in. Now, do not close the application. So see how the game is still running. So then you just open back up. Okay, so there we are, we're back to where we started. Now, it will say connection lost, but uh, eh, who gives a shite? That just means um, that your EA server, I guess, is closed. But you can just turn that back on, it will not change it down. So watch. See, I'm not fighting any force feedback. This is just normal right here. The wheel's not going dun 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 dun. Okay, so let's try driving off road, shall we? So I'm not experiencing any force feedback problems at all. See him going off road. Now probably by now the wheel would start spazzing out. It's not. Of course I'm destroying my beautiful GTR, but still. Demonstration completed. You can now use your wheel normally without having, like, you know, screw-ups at all. Because, you know, normally the wheel would be doing this uncontrollably. It would start turning on its own. It's not. So that means that the trick worked. I don't know if this is a hack or something, but I guess, um, you know, you can just do this whenever you want. You know, so that's pretty much all you gotta do, guys. And if you just do that simple trick, then you can play Need for Speed Payback with this wheel and possibly any other wheel that you guys get. So I hope that you did enjoy this tutorial, um, if you guys did, please make sure to drop a like, hit that big red subscribe button, and um, yes, uh, make sure that you also hit the post notifications so you do not miss out on any, um, sorry, can't speak today, on any other of my new videos, um, just like this. If you guys want to follow me on Instagram, it's blackpearl945, you can do that. Um, and you can also DM me there and I will get back to you and you can tell me what kind of videos you want me to do if you want me to keep doing Need for Speed Payback videos or any other gameplay videos. Maybe I should try this on Grand Theft Auto 5 and see if that'll work. So if you guys want that, please make sure to leave that in the comment section below. Anyway guys, I hope that you have a great rest of your Thursday and I will talk to you on the next video. Peace out lads.